What's something you can swear you saw but no one is believing you? I was 10 and in the car with my mom. I looked out the window passenger side and the lady next to us looked back at me. Her face was distorted. I was mortified. I turned to my mom to tell her and when we both looked, the lady was just smiling. I remember her so clearly in her little blue car. I saw my uncle fall from the roof as he was escaping a house fire. He was able to get inside the car and take off but not before the house toppled over on top of the house. After a few minutes he appeared out of the smoke, limping away. I distinctly remember running back to my house right next door to tell my mom about what had just happened. We go outside and nothing. No fire. No smashed car. No house falling over. I done OWTF 5 year old me was smoking, but I had the hardest time processing what had just happened or not happened. My mom was so angry with me for coming up with such a awful lie about her little brother. Today I learned this day. 27 years old now. I can't explain what, why, or how I saw what I saw, but I very much remember terrifying feeling I felt during and afterwards. Mom thinks I must have fallen asleep playing outside and woke up from a nightmare and panicked, but whatever it was it feel too real. No a hole here you skipped out of a parallel universe into this one. When I was living with my parents, our small dog jumped straight up onto the kitchen counter. It was super high, but he made it. He only did it once, and I witnessed it. But my family calls BS every time I say it really happened. I dated a guy in high school whose whole family swore they saw their dog levitate. I met the dog. His name was Dingo, and I never did see him levitate. Kept telling my mom and sister I was seeing UFOs. Kept happening really regularly and frequently. Eventually I got them all to come outside, because it was about time for one to show up. And it did. It was a stealth bomber being test flown. Long before the public announcement about them went out, or any pics were leaked. Blew all of our minds. Technically it was a UFO. UFOs are common. Just mostly terrestrial based. Mostly. I live in a rural community in Canada. My sister came to see me once and swore up and down that she saw a zebra grazing in the fields. I made fun of her for a couple of years about how the zebra roam the North Pole and how Santa has zebra instead of reindeer. She was really starting to doubt herself but stuck to her guns. Well, I was driving one day and lo and behold, a ducking zebra grazing in the field. Turns out a zoo sometimes lets them roam around there. When I told my sister she felt vindicated. The Canadian savannah is a harsh place, full of apologies and maple syrup pitfalls. I'm 31 female from Northern Ireland and this happened about 10 years ago. As I walked my dog, I suddenly felt like I was being watched. I looked around and quickly noticed a grey wolf slowly walking through the field I was beside. Staring right at me with a mangled rabbit in its mouth. We were both walking in the same general direction. It looked huge. Around 5 feet or so. It stared in such a predatory way I was terrified that it was going to come for us. It was about 15 meters away with a pretty pathetic fence between us. And we both just stood there frozen for about 10 seconds staring at each other. Eventually I picked up my small dog and backed away while watching it. I didn't know what the heck to do. When it was nearly out of sight and still hadn't moved. I turned and ran. I told my dad who didn't seem to believe me but said I should call animal welfare. And they didn't take it seriously at all. I never heard back from them. We don't have wolves here, so I have no idea what the heck happened. I google it every few years, and it reads something about people managing to get wolves as pets, and then releasing them when they got too big to keep or something. So I wonder if that's what happened. But I always see a look of worried disbelief when I tell someone. Edit thanks for the replies. This was in the middle of the day, so I could see it very clearly. Definitely didn't look anything like an Irish wolfhound. And we own large dog breeds as well as the small I was walking. And it didn't seem anything like a large dog. The closest breed I saw mentioned was the northern Inuit. But more grey. But it was much bigger with a wild, predator-like temperament. Honestly if I hadn't seen it walking while staring, I might have wondered if I was just seeing things. I saw a few comments mentioning a wolf sanctuary in Ireland, and when I looked that up, 
This is the closest to what I saw. The town I was in is pretty small, and not anywhere near any of the sanctuary zoos. I was also in a residential area a row of houses on one side of me, the field on the other. So it still feels really random. Sounds like the Hound of the Baskervilles did a little swimming to me. When we were 10 years old, all of my cousins and siblings were playing hide and seek in the dark in the middle of a park. When someone gets found, you join the seeker to look for people, but you can't tell them where they are. I was the seeker, and I had just found one of my cousins. So we were walking around, and looking for the rest. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw someone, that looked exactly like my brother run past us at inhuman speed. I turned to look at my cousin, and he had admitted, that he saw the same thing. We found my brother later in the round. But he was at the other side of the park. Nobody believes either of us, but both of us still remember it. Six years ago I went through 10 surgeries for a badly broken leg. During one of the surgeries early on, I have distinct memories of waking up and hearing, seeing and smelling several minutes of the surgery. I also remember a nurse looking me in the eye and then telling someone I was awake. I then passed back out, presumably due to more anesthesia. No one believes me that this happened. I'm now terribly afraid of surgery and hope I never have to enter another operating room. This happened to me. I woke up during a knee surgery and heard the surgeon arguing with the anesthesiologist. The anesthesiologist said something like you the surgeon tell me you're going to be x amount of time longer and then you tell me you're finished. I also heard the surgeon say he's me fatter on the outside than he is on the inside. The surgeon said it wasn't possible that I woke up during surgery. But when I repeated back what was said the look on his face told me he knew I was telling the truth. I'm so sorry this happened to you, but that argument is so funny to me. On the bike path a man riding a beach cruiser one-handed, no shirt but wearing a huge sombrero, carrying a fawn cradled in his other arm. You saw what Santa is like during the summer. Trust me on this one. I have never mentioned this before to anyone. See Nepcot in Orlando. On the brick walkway between a walkthrough part with stores and such on either side and the part leading up to the land. Date June 2008. I was with my pregnant wife. Huge storm rolls in. Black clouds. About to pour. When there was this unearthly deafening sound and bright light exploded. I opened my eyes and I was standing 30 feet or more away back under the covered walkway. Unharmed. My wife said I had been standing right beside her. Then I wasn't. It was too far to have run in the brief second of the explosion I assume a lightning strike. Swear this happened as well as I could tell it. Edit spelling. I wonder if you were at some perfect distance to the strike that you both got just enough of a jolt to blank several seconds worth of short term memory. Outside observers would have seen you two jump seemingly from surprise. You run under the covered area while she stands there dazed. And then you both resume a normal behavior. Meanwhile from your perspectives there was a flash and a bang and you teleported. I have clear and distinct memories from when I was still in diapers and a crib. No one in my family believed me until I described the exact layout of my room at the time. Bed and dressers included. We don't have any photos of this room. So this isn't a false memory situation like my brother said. I even described a time my mom gave me cough medicine in a Mickey Mouse spoon from before I could even talk. It's weird because my short term memory is trash. But my long term memory is absolutely unreal. I absolutely believe you. Because I have a similar memory. My earliest memory is standing up in the early morning. Holding on to my crib rail. And kind of deciding to cry. Then my dad comes. And says some kind words and picks me up. I stayed over a church friend's house. When I was 8 ish. He said he had a little sister. But my parents and I never saw her at church or anything. My mom said it was probably imaginary. At night I walked in the wrong room and saw a teenage girl in a crib. Dressed like a baby. I told my mom. I told my friends. I told whoever I could but no one believed me. That is creepy. That's terrifying to be honest. A few years back I saw a capybara in my front yard in Alabama. No one believed me because by the time I came back with my phone he was gone. The best I got was a... I guess it might have been a capybara after a local man was found to have his own exotic animal collection less than 3 miles away. Other animals I saw in that yard are emu and two bison. 
I must have lived pretty close to that dude's land. Edit to add it was definition a capybara. I watched it for several minutes and estimated its weight somewhere around 100, 130 pounds. Dude also had a panther escape in the area, which brought in state wildlife officials. Not something I saw. Something I felt and heard. I was struggling to sleep one night. Lying in bed feeling wired and irritable when I felt pressure lift from the bed on my partner's side. I assumed he'd got up to go to the bathroom I was facing the opposite way, so I didn't see him do this a few minutes go by, and I hear him come back into the room and feel him get back in bed. Nothing strange about that. Lying there still frustrated the same thing happens again. A lift of pressure. Some rustling sounds like a person trying to navigate a dark room. An absence of sound for a few moments, and then the sensation of weight on the bed again. Still not thinking much of it, because it wasn't an obvious cause for concern. I continue trying to fall asleep. Then it happens again. And again. And again. I wasn't too into the idea of asking him if he was okay as we had a ridiculous argument that night, and I was pretty pissed off with him. So I just ignored it. But then. Then it sounded like he had got up and was simply pacing around the room clumsily. I could hear things on the shelves being touched and slightly moved and hands gently brushing against walls. And then I felt the bed suddenly dip in a concentrated spot of the mattress as though he had stood on it. This carries on for I don't know how long. Rustling. Pressure on the bed and so on until I snap. I sit bolt upright. Turn around and say what the heck are you doing? To see my partner waking up from a very deep sleep and looking confused. I told him what had happened, and he said he'd been asleep next to me the whole time. Which was pretty obvious to see him in his very sleepy state. Plus he would have had mere seconds to jump into bed without me noticing in the time it took me to sit up and turn around. I somehow fell asleep that night feeling confused, and as though eyes were on me, and in a typical cheesy haunted house fashion. I get a call from my mum the next morning telling me my uncle had died the night before. A few months ago, I was at work. I worked opening shift for 30am that morning, and one of my co-workers was late. I heard the door open, and I saw a shadow walk towards the door to the back. It stays locked to keep customers out, so I opened it. But noon was there. I figured he just went to the bathroom. Like 20 minutes later, I go to my manager. Me hey, I think employee took off. I saw them earlier, but they never came in. Manager employee is in North Carolina taking care of his family. Me. Myself from several feet away. I was very very tired, and I was walking up the steps at my house. I remember watching myself from an angle that wouldn't have been possible. But I remember it clear as day. You accidentally entered third person mode. Nothing weird there. When I was a kid I ate some of my grandmother's heart medication and nearly died. Was rushed to the hospital to have my stomach pumped and I have a memory of looking down at myself on the hospital bed with my mom and hospital staff around me. It still is one of the only things I've heard happen that I cannot explain and no one I've told this story to believes me at all. Even my super religious aunt said it was my imagination. My better fish disappeared out of a covered tank and then reappeared in front of my eyes. If you can imagine this tank is clear plastic on all sides, including the bottom. There's nowhere to hide when it's empty. The only thing not transparent is the metal lid. Better fish are known to hide. So I didn't worry about not seeing him for a couple days. But on day 3 I got worried. So I took the heater and filter out. Checked the inside of the filter. Took the plants out. Took the hides out. No fish. Nothing in the tank but water and glass rocks now. So I started scooping the rocks out. Thinking he may have gotten trapped under there and died. Pretty soon I'm staring at a tank with nothing but water in it. No fish. I figure there's no way he's still alive. So I start scooping the water out. It's about 3, 4 full when suddenly my fish does one of those fishy slow turns in the dead center of the tank. There he was. It wasn't. Like. I turned away and then back and my fish was there. No, I was staring at the tank, and I quite literally saw him swim back into existence. One second he wasn't there, the next he was. I moved him to a smaller bowl for a few days to keep an eye on him. Covered the top with perforated plastic wrap to ensure no jumping. 
he disappeared from the bowl a couple days later and never came back. Have owned several better fish. And I can honestly say no other fish has ever dimension hopped out of a tank since. A purple horse. Middle of day. No drinking or drugs involved. In retrospect it was probably wearing those pajama things some horses have. But that horse was purple. Once while in a drained pool, I heard a droning sound. It kept getting louder and louder, when a massive cloud of bees slowly flew overhead and into the distance. That's a swarm. When the colony gets too big for its hive, it starts making a new queen. Then half the bees leave with the old queen. What you saw to find another place to live. Cool experience. Ball lightning. There was a glowing white ball in the sky, like nothing I've ever seen. It flew around, maneuvered a bit. I turned my head to reach for my camera. When I looked back, it immediately went behind a cloud and disappeared. There was no lightning that day. The weather was rather fair and nice. It lasted for about a minute. Was really interesting. In summer camp as a kid I went to the bathroom late at night. To get there, you had to go up this big hill covered with rocks almost like a gravel driveway. So I go up there, and first thing I see on the floor is a giant smooshed piece of poop with a human footprint in the middle. Toes and all. I cold and stopped laughing as I went to the bathroom, and went back to the cabin. None of the other kids believed me, when I told them. And it was gone the next day, laughing my butt off. Something that sure looked like a UFO. I'm pretty sure it was probably just a spotlight from the ground moving across the clouds. But even when I describe it, that way people think I'm just imagining things. I also have no clue where a spotlight would've been in that part of town. So that complicates things. When I was a kid, between the ages of 4 and 8, I would see a guy in my house. He would stand in the same spot in the same room looking at me, and my family couldn't see him. I'd cry and scream, and would refuse to go near him, but nobody else ever saw him. I'm someone who believes in logic and the laws of the universe so this really throws me off. I struggle to believe it myself, but I vividly remember this person. This ghost if you wish. Even now. I remember his face. I explained this to someone the other day, and I felt so silly. I sounded like I was making it up. Maybe he was you from the future. Had to get the plot of Interstellar from somewhere.